Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this time, this day, this moment in the year that only you can provide. We have declared that we are blessed. We're blessed in the city. We're blessed in the field. The blessing is coming upon us. As a matter of fact, the blessing has overtaken us. And for that reason, we give you glory. And we give you love. If it had not been for you, God, we would not be where we are today. But we ask for your blessing, God. If you can, sir, if you don't mind, just make us over again. Hallelujah. Make us over unto the vessel that you're calling for. Use us, Lord, in this season. Use us, Lord, in this time that we in. And we shall give your name the praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Give glory and honor to you. In Jesus' name. Blessed through your word. Amen and amen. God bless you, giving honor to the Lord again to Superintendent Castleberry. Amen. And Sister Castleberry, in her absence, to these elders and leaders that's here, to the deacons and all, to the missionaries and all, and to my wife. I want to thank God for you all <clears throat> on tonight. Let me read my scripture and then we'll. Give a start for tonight and we'll all right, go on. all right. Amen. It's found in Jeremiah, the 18th chapter. You know, it's a very familiar passage of scripture. Right. 18 and 1. And the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, Arise and go down to the potter's house, and there I will cause thee to hear my word. And then I went down to the potter's house, and behold, he was worked on the wheel. And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in his in the hands of the potter. So he made it again, another vessel, as seemed good to the potter to make it. God bless the reading of the word. Look at your neighbor and say, I need a spirit you make over. I need a spirit you make over. All right, all right, all right. Oh, come on, look at it again. Say, I need a spirit you make over. Hallelujah. I know that it's not over. You can take your seat. I know that it's not over. But after all the things that I've been through, I still have my joy. I was listening to mother giving her testimony. And she started with, with one thing and she got to the hip and then she got to this and she got to that and then this was happening and then that was happening and then she had to make a decision then that went that way but, but then the Lord just stopped me when she was talking and said, I think she need a spiritual makeover. It's something about when you Get a spiritual makeover. Yeah, 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 you yeah, ever yeah. seen when they uh, put these shows on TV and, uh, and, and, and and they take somebody and they look one way and somebody uh, say, Oh Lord, they just look a hot mess. Uh, they need they need to be worked over. Uh, and so somebody recommend them to be made over. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so they go in and then somebody get behind the scene. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. you don't know what's happening behind the scene, so they bring in specialists. Yeah. They bring in a cosmetologist and they fix up the hair. They fix up the face. Yeah. They bring in a fashion designer. Right. And the fashion designer, designer said, this look good on you. So they dress you up in a new outfit. Yeah. Give you a brand new look. And then tell you why you're sitting down. Girl, you're looking good. So when you go out there, Walk like you look good. Yeah, 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 Talk yeah. like you look good. Yeah. And when anybody look at you, just look at them like you're yeah. looking good. Yeah. And the Lord was letting me know yeah. that since we got to have the same mindset, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care how bad it looks. The Lord saying that I need to make you over again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In other words, I allow me to take you into my secret 
secret closet and pull you behind the veil and then give you a brand new attitude, give you a brand new outlook, and change your walking, change your talking, change the way you're dressing, change the way you're acting, change the way you're praising, change the way you're praying, change the way you're preaching, change the way you're shouting. You just need to be made all over. I'm almost there. Thank you, God. Took him there, and when he got this, I don't want you to preach. Mm -hmm. I want you to watch, yeah. no. and I need you to get a message. Uh -huh. <laughs> preach is hard yeah. to watch yeah. when it's good and the Lord is talking to you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Preach, preach. Oh. Superintendent said something to me when I was sitting down. <laughs> Mother, you, you, we were talking about crying. And, uh -huh. and said, better to cry now than to cry later. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Then Superintendent said, wait a minute. That a preach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine Jeremiah sitting there, well. walking through and watching? Yeah, yeah. Watching the pot. Uh -huh. yeah. Working on the wheel. Uh -huh. How did he pull together his message? He had to have an introduction that would stir the people's mind. He had to have some points that he needed to talk about that would get their attention. He needed to come across with a conclusion so that at the end of this message that they would get a word from the Lord and decide to make a change. Well, I just feel like Jeremiah read about it now. I want you to see how the Lord was working with him. Went into the potter's house. And when he got there, the Bible said that the potter was working on the wheel. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And the vessel that he had in his hand was marred. Uh -huh. So the first point I want to bring out is that there is an evaluation point in this message yes, yes, in yes. your life. If you want to have a spiritual makeover, you need to know the things that need to be dealt with. You need to do a self-examination. And, 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 and there's nothing wrong with examining yourself. As a matter of fact, superintendent, I'd rather examine myself than to have somebody else to examine me and tell me all about myself. I'd rather say it for myself. I know that. I know I need to do better. I know I need to do this well to help the Holy Ghost. And so the Lord was letting me know that we need to examine ourselves. Well, superintendent, there are some things that First of all, we need to do when we look at ourselves. Look at how you are shaped and made up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, my preacher. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Haven't been fasting and haven't been praying. Well, all right. Lord, help me now. Yes. Lord, help me with this one. Yes. yes. We done gained some spiritual weight. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, yeah. 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 All right. You done picked up some extra weight. So much weight that you can't shout. Like you used to shout. So you just wave your hand. You used to run around the church. But now you're not running. You just stand behind the pew. And just bob. Well, I need to give you a plan that God has because God Weight Watchers program. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He said, lay aside every weight and the sin that does so easily beset you. If you look and take an examination, there are some things that's in your life that should not be in your life. There are some weights that you're carrying. 
You've been carrying down through the years. You've been hurt by somebody. So you're carrying that weight. Didn't get the promotion. So you're carrying that weight. You've been abused. You're carrying that weight. You've been mishandled. You're carrying that weight. Well, you can't sound with all this weight upon you. So the first thing we're going to do in the spiritual makeover is now to cause you to lose weight. It's not going to take long. You don't have to go on a diet for 30 days to lose To lay aside this hurt and pain, just lost some weight. That you lay aside worrying, just lost some weight. Next day, you know you start feeling better. Cause I'm not worrying anymore. Well, what about this battle that I'm in? Well, let me lay down this battle. But this is not my fight. The battle belongs to the Lord. And we're going to go and 
a spirit to make up. Yeah, yeah. We're not going to pull out nothing new. Well, because there's nothing new under the sun. Yeah. What you going to do? I'm going to go back to the old time way. And the Bible said that when you find it, Walk there in. We got somebody that go, Daddy is right there. Right there. <laughs> when you find it, walk there in. Pop, this is what we do. We dance around it. We shout around it. But we never go down it. We look for the old path. And we do one of these guys. That is, but we never go down it. So in the spiritual makeover, the Lord said, look for the old path. And when you find the old path, walk there in. Oh, I dare you to walk in the old path. The old path of righteousness. The old path of holiness. The old path of the Lord. What you gonna do? I'm gonna do so the Lord says, I gotta fix you now because I can't use you the way that you're looking now. When you come to church, when you come to church, you don't have no joy. I want my joy back. The word says, but if you want joy, what you do? Why you having the preacher to lay hands on you? Doing all you got to do is just. I dare you to just start. I dare you to start. I dare you to start. You come to church, just start leaping. Just start leaping. And after a while, So now that you have leaped, look at somebody and say, how you feel that? I feel all right, brother. I feel all right. Yeah, 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 yeah. What did they say? How you feel now? Real good. How you feel, sis? Awesome. Okay. I need to go in and Pause the station identification. So since, since you've been leaping, yeah. For the Lord, how do you feel today? I feel awesome. Well, Mother, I heard you giving your testimony oh, of the God life. And the Lord says he was going to bless your eyes. But when you start leaping, you start operating on the eyes. Before the doctors get to it, he's already fixing stuff. And the only thing you did was just start. It just don't make sense, but can I leap into my blessing? Can I leap into Thank you. 
over again. When there ain't no harm to be made over again. Live your mind through trials and tribulation. If you're marred through the storm of life, the Lord been watching over you and I. Every time we see you marred, every time we see that you've been bruised, every time we see that you got a crack, we stop you in your track and slow you down and cause you to take a look at your own self and you can see how frail you are and you can see how messed up you are the boy said now come unto me draw now unto me and I'll draw now unto you look what he did Now he has examined it. Saints, I'm going to tell you right now. The devil did everything he could to you this year. My, my, my. Oh, bless yes, he did. Uh -huh, uh -huh. He attacked some of y'all with sickness. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He attacked some of y'all with your finances. Well, yeah. Got into your marriage. Uh -huh. Got into your kids. Well, Got in on the job. <laughs> Wherever he can get in. Yeah. He was just trying to disrupt your world. Yeah. And cause you to be distracted. Yeah. By the thing that is happening all around you. Yeah. But the Holy Ghost tell me. To tell you to stop now. Yeah. Stop, stop. And drop. Yeah. Why do I need to drop? Yeah. Drop down. On your knees. Yeah. Tell me thought. That he had you and got you knocked down. But no, you're just in the right position now to call on the name of the Lord. While you're on your knees, call on his name. I dare you to call on him. If you call on him, he'll come. If you call on him, he'll come to your rescue. See over again. Yeah. The thing when God takes something that is marred uh -huh. and make it over again, uh -huh. he make it for a better use. Yeah. Yeah. All go through. Yeah. Yeah. Won't be the same vessel. Yeah. It's going to make you again yeah. another vessel. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of vessel are you going to make me this time? A vessel of honor. Yeah. Somebody need to know that I got a testimony yeah. and I'm still standing yeah. here today. Yeah. And the Lord yeah. has honored me yeah. through this trial. Yeah. He has glorified me in this trial that he may get the glory out of my trial. Yeah. That I can tell somebody that he still works, yeah. that the blood still works. That he still heals, that he still delivers, that he still reclaims, that he still feels, that he still making ways. Somebody don't believe that he's still making ways. But oh, if you call on him, won't he make a way? He'll make a way out of no way. What do you need? I need a door that I can get out of where I heard you. In his word, he said that I am the door. I am the way. All you gotta do is put whatever you want. I am. I am your healer. I am your provider. I am your strength. I am your joy. Can I go in the room where the 
the Holy Ghost cosmetologist well, is. <laughs> and the fashion designer uh -huh. is. Uh -huh. I can hear him say right now. Pull off. Pull off. The old man. And all yeah. of his deeds. I dare you to pull off the old you. I dare you to pull off that old you. You know that old fighting you. That when you get mad, you ain't forgot how to fight. That old cursing you that when they just make you so mad that you let one slip out and pull off that old you. I say pull off the old man and then all of his deeds. So there are some deeds that y'all have. Oh Lord, help me. There are some deeds that somebody is dealing in. You know what I'm talking about. The night was to take the weakest stand and testify against you what you did on Friday night and on Saturday night. Would you be found guilty of loving the Lord or serving the devil? Whose side would you be on? So I'm telling you right now, you can change it now. Pull off the old man and all of his deeds. Now what I'm going to do, put on Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I dare you to get dressed up in Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Coming in Jesus. Look at you now. You got on Jesus. Jesus on the outside. Jesus on the inside. Running through your veins. Now the Holy Ghost said, I need you to change your hat. So now take on it. Put on the helmet of salvation. It's all right to get that fancy hat that you paid uh, mm -hmm, three hundred dollars for, so big that nobody can see around it. You're looking good in the convention, but it's bad to be dressed up in the convention with a heavy head and a hard head and a stubborn wheel. But the Lord said, "Protect yourself from the enemy. Put on." The helmet of salvation. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Gird your lion with truth. Put on the shoes. Change your shoes now. Look at somebody say one size fits all. Put on the shoes. That is the preparation. Of the gospel. Yeah, right. Why should I have them those shoes? Because in the word of the Lord, yeah. as I get ready to walk down the runway yeah, 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 of yeah, yeah, yeah. life, I'm telling the Lord, all of my steps in your word. Let your word be my light. Light up my pathway. Be with me. Can you say yes? Look at somebody said a spiritual life. Makeover. Now that you got on the helmet of salvation, got on Jesus, breastplate of righteousness, line girded with truth, gospel on your feet. You're still not through yet because we're getting ready to go to another level in the Lord. Oh, good God. Now get on and put on. Yeah. Your garment of praise. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am saying this one right here. Y'all yeah. want to just walk down the aisle one Sunday coming in the church yeah. with the outfit that the Lord done dressed you in. Yeah. 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 Bye, 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 bye. Oh, you see it now. Here comes Sister Sally. Yeah. Sunday morning. Uh -huh. Coming in the house. Dressed up. Yeah. In her garment. Yeah. That the Lord prepared. Okay. That's
that's the one that she been through the storm and the rain. Now it's waterproof. Look at her walking through the storm and the rain. And she's not bothered no longer by the storm because she got Jesus escorting her down the aisle. Look at her praise now. Y'all ain't got this with me. Look at her praise now. She walking down the aisle, mother, with a praise. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And when she get to her seat, she just don't pop down. But she look around and said, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And she got a praise. Oh, I wish I had somebody with me. Got a praise on the inside. Look at her hollering, thank you, Jesus. Somebody said, hey, girl, look over here. I got my dog, too. But two or three yelling in his name. The Lord said, I'll be in the midst. Now the Lord is in his house. Deliverance is in his house. Who Lord Golden Gate. Golden Gate. Have just moved into a whole different level. Let them come in. For a while, they used to peek through the window. Oh, yeah. 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 And when they came in, yeah. Yeah. they had to take off their clothes. Uh -huh. And see, Mitchell came in the Great Enough Park, uh -huh. drunk. Oh, Lord. But the mother put him on the altar yeah. and told him to say, Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. 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 Tell him, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Tell him, Yes, Lord. Yeah. They told me that Essie Mitchell. Yeah. Kept saying thank you, Jesus. Yeah. So he threw up all that alcohol. Uh -huh. And the Lord purged him. Yeah. And that very night, he got saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And filled with the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Standing up, uh, preaching the gospel. I got news for you. Church, when we put on Jesus, yeah. and we put on our garment of praise, yeah. and we come up in the house of the Lord, it changed the atmosphere. Yeah. I think now it's time to change the atmosphere for the rest of the year. If anybody sit by you, if they don't want to praise the Lord, you praise him. If they don't want to shout, then you shout. Let them talk about you. Say, where's she been? She just got back in here. Why she running around the church? Well, I was running over here and I ran into some trouble. But the Lord allowed me to make it back into the house of the Lord. And I'm here right now.
y'all going to kiss this in a minute. Turn it around. And so every time I...